Hey, what's up guys? This is Fit Dread, and I just want to make a quick video about Star Citizen piracy and PvP. Is it a problem? What do I feel about it? I've been playing the game since late last year, and of course I have opinions. Who doesn't have opinions? And I love to talk about them, so that's what I'm going to do today. And I'll tell you right now, I definitely am going to have some hot takes in this video, so if you disagree with me, uh, that's fine. Leave a comment and let me know, because I, uh, I can take that. So anyway, let's talk about it from the beginning. PvP, okay? Okay, what is PvP and what is piracy? And uh, is it a problem in the game? Now, I'm going to spoiler alert you. I don't think it is a problem. In fact, I think it enriches the game. Now, I'm not a pirate myself. I'm somewhat of a an honorable player. I'm somebody that plays Mass Effect, right? And I can't make the, the, the mean guy choice. I just can't do the renegade option because I'm a paragon. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to be the nice guy. You know, back in high school when people said, are you on the light or the dark side? You know, so many of the, the kids, uh, the teenagers back then were all edgy and they were like, oh, I'm dark side. And I was like one of the only ones that was like, yeah, I'm on the light side. And that's just what it is, right? It's just my persona. It's just who I am. So I find a hard time being a pirate in the game. So I often play on the side of the good guy. And as a result, uh, you would think like I'm not into PvP. No, that's not true. In fact, I love PvP. <clears throat> I love it so much that I was doing bounty hunting. And bounty hunting is one of the most fun things I've ever done in the game. It's so fun to chase down people with crime stats and take them out. Um, and I, I have fun. I love doing the space combat. I love like everything to do with it. Now, with that being said, there's been an increasing number of players that I've seen online and in my org. that are just so afraid of PVP. They're just scared of it. They don't want to do anything related to PVP. They don't want to mess with pirates. They don't want to mess with other players that shoot anything at them. You aim a gun at, uh, some of these players, like uh, a ship with weapons and they just freak out. Okay. Oh, I had one org mate. He was like, I don't want to be near Grimhex at all. I don't want to go there because it's, uh, it's too scary for them. Grimhex is too dangerous. And I'm just like, I'm like, what? No, it, I mean, it can be dangerous. It can be, Grimhex has been dangerous. But if you know how to mitigate your risks, then there's no problem. And in fact, that's how I feel about most of the PvP and piracy in the game. You have to mitigate the risks. Understand what the risks are, what's at stake, how much are you willing to lose, and then figure out like what's your game plan. And mo so many players fail to do this. One of the things that I want other players to realize is that risks enrich the game. For example, one of the games that I really have grown to enjoy was Monster Hunter, okay? It's a franchise of, it's it's a PvE game, right? But it's all about risk versus reward in that game. It's about planning, right? So in Monster Hunter, it was all about planning for your hunt. More In more modern Monster Hunters, it's less about planning because, you know, you don't really have to think about what you're bringing with you on your hunt as much as you used to back in the day in the older Monster Hunters. But Monster Hunter was all about planning your hunt, right? So what do I take with me on the hunt? What resources am I going to need? What's going to help me against this this particular challenge, right? And then you go and face that challenge and then through uh, pers struggle and perseverance, you might win or lose, right? And it makes the victory taste that much sweeter when you prepared and you successfully met the challenge with the appropriate response, right? You looked at what you needed, you you took the necessary precautions and then you executed and you succeeded, right? And that feels great. Star Citizen is the same way. If you're doing anything in Star Citizen, what you need to do is realize like you're probably going to get attacked. This is a full loop PVP game and I understand the game's still in development and things are subject to change. I'm really speaking about the game as it is today. Just so you know, pretty much anything you do in the game right now, there's going to be some level of risk, some with more or less risk. And all you got to do is mitigate the risk. If you're a salvager, it's like, where do you go and salvage that has low or high risk? If you're a miner, where do you mine that has low or high risk? You know, if you're doing a, uh, if you're moving refined resources to sell it, you know, how do you do that in such a way where you can mitigate the risks involved to prevent piracy, right? How do you prevent that from happening? And if you do get pirated, what steps do you take at that point? Nobody's thinking about these things. People need to think about these things and plan ahead. If you get caught with your pants down, whose fault is it but your own, right? Like most of the time, and I'm not saying that you can't get caught out. You can't just be somewhere where you think you're safe and then all of a sudden somebody just one shots you. 
or somebody trolls you, maybe pad rams you. Like these things can happen. But this is just the nature of a game like Star Citizen. And it's really because Star Citizen tries to be more of a simulation than a game. They don't really have mechanics in the game to prevent certain pirate activities, so to speak. It's because real life wouldn't. One of the things about the game, it, it, because it tries to be a space simulator, it tries to prevent gamifying things or putting barriers up where they just wouldn't realistically be barriers. In fact, armistice zones are already probably the most gamified barrier that we have as far as like preventing you know, PVP or griefing, armistice zones are these safety bubbles around key locations. And that's about as much as you're going to get from Star Citizen. In fact, they already intend on getting rid of those. So, you know, enjoy them while they last. But until the game has like proper mechanics, which is like security forces and stuff like that, like um, police ships or whatnot, better security, until these NPCs can handle the situation, we're going to have armistice zones. It's just what it is. With the way the game is now, there's ways to mitigate all risk. And I think that people that are afraid of PVP, they need to know a couple things. And I'm gonna tell you those things right now. First things first, if you're a purely PVE player, you don't like doing PVP combat and you don't want to, that's okay. The game still can be for you, but you need to understand a couple things that'll put the game in your favor. First things first, have friends. Strength in numbers is your biggest advantage that you can get. Okay, these pirate orgs, a lot of times pirates run solo. They fly solo and you might have like one guy, some people call them murder hobos, whatever. Okay, you can prevent that guy just by having strength in numbers. Run with your friends, have some multi-crew, have uh, a group, be, be in a group, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know that it's hard for a lot of people, you know, people don't like to group up. I understand people like to play solo you can still mitigate the risks. If you're a solo player, now all of a sudden you gotta think about like, okay, how do I get out of a situation that I don't wanna be in? So many times, players that get pirated could easily have escaped had they had a little bit of situational awareness. If you're not watching your radar, what are you doing? First off, if you see pips on the radar, are they friendly? Probably not. Never trust a blue t pip just because it's blue. That could just be a pirate that's on vacation, okay? He could easily flip the switch and be on you. Always look at somebody with a little bit of skepticism. It doesn't matter who it is. If they act friendly and you're in a, not in an armistice zone, you're probably at risk. And do you need to take that risk? It's up to you. It's up to you. You got to outweigh. What do you have to lose? Do you have a full load of cargo? Maybe don't talk to that random stranger. Maybe get out of there. Do you have nothing on you? You can afford to take risks. I mean, it makes sense. You don't need me to tell you this. Tell me if this sounds like a familiar post on Reddit or Spectrum or whatever. Oh, you know, I was just minding my own business. I had a full load of cargo. And then all of a sudden I got killed. I work 30 hour days and... You know, I come home tired and exhausted, and after a long day, I just want to sit down and relax and play Star Citizen. Does that sound familiar to you? Well, let me tell you something right now. That guy, he should be going to play Stardew Valley. He should be going to play Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator. He shouldn't be going to play Star Citizen, because this game, as of right now, doesn't have a safe space for you, okay? I'm sorry to say this. Star Citizen is going to have some risk. There is not zero risk. And in fact, why would you want that? Why would you want zero risk? Working around the risk is fun. The risk enriches the game. You feel like you've planned for the situation. You've looked at the landscape of risk and what's at stake. You've properly planned around it. You've succeeded. You feel more fulfillment playing a game where there's risk than had there been no risk at all. Okay, if you look at a situation, whether it be salvaging, mining, transporting goods, okay, various things in the game, they come with levels of risk, okay? Because this game isn't so much a game as it tries to be a simulation. A simulation in which we have humans in it. Humans that are notorious for being assholes. So you have to plan around people in the game. And sometimes people want to be pirates. Sometimes they want to get their cheap thrills by shooting at you. And the way that you mitigate those risks, okay, is simple. 
all you got to do is plan for them. What are the most likely attack surfaces for the enemy, right? Think about what they're going to do. Think it, put yourself in the enemy's head for a minute. How are they going to get you? If you're a salvager, you go out and you salvage various locations for salvage, right? If you're going to mitigate the risks as a salvager, all you got to do is go to the safer location. Far away Lagrange points, unlikely you're going to see anybody there, okay? The ones closer to big uh hub locations those are the ones more likely to be traveled by pirates but still right the further out you go the better air and halo is absolutely safe because you're out there literally in the middle of nowhere in the wilderness but it's also very hard to find anything there so the game likes to balance risk and reward in some aspects right there it's very low reward but it's low risk in the air and halo you mine the uh rings of yila right next to grim hex the freaking capital of the piracy world right now yeah, it's going to be higher risk, but it's going to come with greater reward because now there's a lot of panels in the Rings of Yila to be salvaged. Now, another thing to realize, more so than just planning and like, you know, going to locations, you got to know how to have good situational awareness. People don't. People don't even realize what's happening until it's too late. You need to realize if people are around you, you have you have radar and sensors, okay? You can see if players are near you. And if you don't and it's too late and it happens so fast, well, now you got to bug out. And there's got to be a bug out plan, especially if you're a salvager or a miner. You should be thinking, like, if I get attacked right now, how do I get out? And then if you do get attacked, hopefully your planning helped you get out of that situation. If you mitigate the risks, if you plan, then you're going to be rewarded. I have yet to be pirated in the game, but I have been killed in PvP plenty of times, trust me. I understand that there's always a level of risk. How much are you willing to lose? Is it really a good idea to load up that C2 with $2 million worth of cargo? Probably not. And if it, if you do want to do that haul, why aren't you hauling? Why aren't you calling for a friend to escort you or something? Why aren't you having somebody help you out for a minute, man? Like, hey, like reach out to an org, be like, hey guys, you know, I really don't want to get pirated here. I kind of got a lot of money at risk. Do you, do you guys mind like, you know, escorting me to the nearest whatever? And like, people are going to do that, dude. People will love to do that. I would love to do that for absolutely zero money. Okay, because I just love playing the game. I just love to be in the game. And there are people just like me that just want to go out and hang out and help a, help a bro out. Reach out to somebody. Be like, hey, I could use somebody's help real quick. The last piece of advice you're going to hate. Get good. Stop being afraid. It Like, here's the thing. PvP is fun. PvP can be a lot of fun. And even if you don't feel like you're skilled at it, a little bit of practice goes a long way. A little bit of watching some YouTube videos. Watch some Avenger 1 videos. You don't have to like him, but he's good, right? You don't have to like the guy, but he's good at the game. Look at look at some other videos from, uh, hold on, let me get this guy's name. Jonathan Winters. Look at Jonathan Winters. He does some great little guide videos on like, you know, flight mechanics and movement and all kinds of stuff like that. He's got amazing guides online that can teach you all the different various PvP mechanics. Fly around in a light fighter. Get used to it. Get good. You know, feel confident in yourself. Somebody fights you, get excited. Be like, oh, now we get to throw down. I've killed players in my C8R Pisces that want to fight me at Korea, trying to troll me in freaking fighters no less okay and i just run circles around them because i practiced i'm in a c8r and i have no fear i will kill you and i did you can do it too you don't have to be in a good ship you just have to be a better pilot and that's what it takes okay get good get some practice in and enjoy the game it's a part of the game it's an aspect of the game and i understand that it might be a high stress scenario for you but you can do it i believe in you <laughs> okay, I do. I believe in you. In summary, piracy in the game is a legitimate gameplay loop. PvP has, there is risks uh, associated with playing the game right now. It is what it is. We don't have high security sectors right now. We don't have uh, proper security or AI that can defend players that don't want to do PvP. So now you have to rely on the community to help you. You got to rely on yourself and you have to plan for the risks and mitigate the risks and 
take less risks, you know? You can load up that C2 with, you know, way less cargo and make more trips. It's up to you, you know? How much do you want to risk at once? You know, is it worth risking 2 million or is it worth risking 200,000? You set how much is at risk, how much is at stake. With that in mind, I think Star Citizen can be played by any player, even if you're just a PvE player. You just have to plop, properly plan for the risks, mitigate the risks. You can take control of how much is at stake. That enriches the game experience because those risks add tension. They add a sense of accomplishment when you've solved the problem, right? There's a lot to be gained there that's not just monetary value in the game because honestly, there's not like money in the game isn't that valuable. It's really not. We don't have any good money sinks. So enjoy just flying around the verse and interacting and socializing with people. And PvP is a part of that socialization, even if it is a little bit of a... Uh, frustration on some people's part but i say don't be afraid don't be afraid of grim hex just because people might shoot at you shoot back you know or just get to the armistice zone you know soon like that's the thing every time i fly to grim hex i go straight to the armistice zone and then they can't do anything to you you know you fly straight there and nobody's going to intercept you on the way there and if they do they probably won't have time to kill you you know, between you quantuming in and you getting the Grim Hacks, they probably don't have enough time even if they launch Torps at you or something, right? I mean, there's always the opportunity for you to get cheese killed, and it is a part of the game. It sucks. But thankfully, it happens so few and far between that I don't think you really have to worry about it. And I would just say, like, if it does happen to you more often than not, you know, I apologize because it hasn't happened to me, but not say it hasn't happened to anybody. You know, statistically, somebody out there is going to get screwed over more than the average person. You know, if they go on Spectrum, if they go on Reddit and start complaining about it, it is what it is. I understand their frustrations, and that's where the game is going to evolve, and it's going to change. And we're going to have high security sectors, but in the meantime... All you got to do is just shrug it off. You know, it is what it is. Keep playing the game. I think that on average, you're going to have a good time Plan for those risks. And yeah, overall, in summary, stop being a little bitch about PVP. No, I'm just kidding. So yeah, in summary, PVP, I don't think is a problem. I think it's awesome and you should like it too because it enriches the game. All right, that's all I got to say. I'll see you guys.